All right, so we built an app where a kitty appears, you touch the kitty, and the kitty meows, and the phone vibrates, okay? Um, but so far what we've done is we have used this connect to device to kind of test the app, but um, we ran on the emulator and on our phone, okay? But if you disconnect your phone, the app is, is no longer there, okay? So we really haven't install the app onto your phone and I want to show you how to do do that okay so we built the app we think it's working and there's this button in the designer called package for phone you click it say download to connected phone okay so I have to be already connected to to the phone or I could download to the emulator if I wanted but right now I'm connected to my Android phone okay I'm gonna say down package for phone download to connected phone and you know this this typically takes you know even up to a minute usually about 30 30 40 seconds and when it gets done um, this app we just built will be um, downloads the phone and uh, you can grab your phone and install the app um, just by clicking a couple buttons and and then you'll have the app on your phone you can show your friends that that sort of thing Okay, so that's how you get to your phone. Now, what if you want to distribute your app? You love your app and you want to show um, other other people, right? Or maybe you want to put it on the web for, for people to download. Well, you can you can do that as, as well, okay? And um, I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so our application successively download to the phone, and so now I could run run it on my phone. So I'm just going to click OK, and um, now on the phone, of course, you have to go to your um, apps, and and that that uh, app will will show up, and click it, and you can run it. So it's already installed. All right. So now, what about distributing? What about getting your app on the web so somebody could download? Um, we could also certainly put it on the the market okay um, well I'm gonna click on package for phone and instead of downloading to connected phone download to this computer okay unfortunately um, this also takes another 30 40 seconds they kinda repackage it um, I'm sure they'll, they'll kinda fix this this soon but um, now what's gonna happen is instead of the APK file um, going to the phone it's gonna go to my computer, all right, and it's going to show up um, in my downloads directory. Okay, it's not there yet, but in a second, it it will will show up. Okay, once I get it there, okay, there we go. Um, I've chosen to open HelloKitty.apk, so this is my an APK file is my actual Android app. I'll say save file, and um, and then it's going to be over here. Uh, in my um, downloads, okay, and uh, let's just go back to desktop and then refresh downloads, and there's hellokitty.apk. Okay, that's great. I've got it on my computer, but I really want to get it on the web. All right, so I'm going to show you one way to do that. There's many ways to get files onto the web, but one way is to go to a great site from Google called sites.google.com. Google Sites. Okay, and this lets you create a web page. So, like the students in my class create a portfolio page. Um, I'm going to call this page My Apps. Okay, or My Android Apps. How about that? And that's fine. And when you create your site, you're going to have to type in this code. And I think I'm getting that right. And now it's going to create my site. Well, it didn't like. Um, my my project name um, was already used because you know all these Google sites gives you a URL and it's got to be unique to the world. So I'm going to change my um, URL to Dave's Android Apps and let's try this again. I'll create site. It looks like that one's going to go through. Okay, all of a sudden I have a website. Okay, really what our goal was, was to get our APK file onto the web. 
So I am now going to edit this page. And um, actually, what I'll do is I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to create a new page. So this is the home page for my app. Uh, let me refresh to get it to come up. I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to call this one Hello Per. All right. And so there's the second page in my new site called uh, My Android Apps. Okay. I'm on Hello Per page. I'll just say it because I'm not going to edit it. But I am going to go to Add Files and I can attach a file here. So if I go to my downloads directory, there's the APK file I downloaded from App Inventor. I'm going to open it and it's going to attach this file to my website, um, my Android apps. Okay. And you can see, you know, the URL, you know, my, my website's living at Google. Okay. And this is the URL to it. This is the URL to my whole page. Um, and now I've got this APK file attached. I can grab this download link. Okay. I'm going to say save link at, oops, sorry. What I really want to do is just, uh, copy the link location okay so if I copy that link location I now have the URL of my APK file all right and there's actually some extra stuff you don't need at the end you don't have to get rid of this but if you get rid of that you now have your APK file which if someone has this URL they'll be able to download your app from the web okay so that's great so I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to show you one more site. So let me open another window here. And there's a great site called Kaiwa. And notice the URL I'm going to is qrcode.kaiwa.com. The nice thing about it is you can stick a URL in here. So I'm going to stick this URL to my APK file that I just stuck on the web. And Voila, I can click generate. And now I have a barcode, which if someone has their phone and scans that barcode, it will install my app on their phone. All right, so I'm going to grab this barcode. I'm just going to, with the app at least, you can do shift command four and get a little screenshot. Okay, so now I've got that barcode image over here on my desktop. All right, and I can actually, if I wanted on my page, I can say, okay, let's edit this hello per page and let's insert an image. Okay, and let's browse. And if I go to desktop, uh, here's the screenshot I just took. And voila, I've got a barcode. And I could say, look, scan this barcode onto your Android phone. To download the app. Or actually, I should say to install the app. Okay, so now I take my phone, get a barcode scanner like Zing, scan that barcode, and I've got the app. So, you know, really what I've just done is without using the Android market, I've, you know, made my app available to, to the world. They can just go to, um, Actually, the, the page is this page. Okay, here's my page. And if someone goes to this page, they can now download and install my app.